greetings and blessings from the most high Ja Rastafari Crawford Ashley the spiritual boxer and I'm talking about boxing again and basically it's like the lost art of boxing and what I think is different between now and old school and it seems like now people are taught how to think they're taught what to think and I think that's just through schooling, through life with trainers who don't have any idea about boxing drilling and having these drills into the mind to brainwash the mind to do certain things in a set way in a certain pattern boxing's not like that boxing's about freedom about fluid fluidity about flow it's about adapting it's about having a fluid mind like i say if you're getting it you're doing something wrong that's how simple it is and when you see fighters who actually get this you know the Mama Dali's, the Sugar Ray Leonard's, the Nazis, the Eubank, even though I don't really like him, but certain fighters, you can see them, they're making up their own script, they're becoming an individual, they're becoming their own fighter, they're not following anything, because what works for one person will not work for another person, and when we train everybody exactly the same way, <laughs> it becomes dull and boring and like a couple of weeks ago you could see my man didn't know how to think there was no flow, there was no fluidity and it's like this regimentedness this killed boxing like you've got to have something different, you have to throw things in there and become different, become fluid, learn to move, you know, if you get in there, you're doing something wrong, move, the emphasis is on the move, get out of the frigging way, you know, just because you're on the back foot, don't mean you're losing, you know, people don't, or boxers and trainers don't seem to get that nowadays, they don't want to put the work in to learn the basics. They want to be jumping on these so-called advanced skills, which aren't really advanced. You know, they want to do the shoulder roll and they don't even know how to do the shoulder roll because the feet are in the wrong position. Because of this stance that they've got now where you've, it's kind of like square on. So what they've done is they've turned boxing more into a fight. And I find that kind of weird. Because a good boxer will be a good fighter any day of the week. You know, and you've got some boxers out there who are fighters, but they're not the boxers because you can see I can see in the brain and how they work. It's like Mike Tyson come forward aggressive fighter but we're a boxer first because first and foremost they draw he used to draw leads he used to do feints and come back with some draw the punches and then come back with combinations counter punching that is boxing but you can counter punch going forward or you can counter punch going backwards you know tyson just adapted his style because of his size he knew he had to get close to these big heavyweights to take away their power because most heavyweights can't show on the punches down and come in low like Mike Tyson did. So different skill sets for different fighters and training certain people all the same way, kind of like it don't work. And back in my day, you could see certain gyms had a certain style. So if you're boxing somebody from a certain gym, you knew the style that they was coming out with. And I was always unpredictable, offbeat. You know, my rhythm was my rhythm. It wasn't to any set rhythm. 
and I could change it's like me dancing now is exactly the same I dance to my own tune not the tune that's playing so boxing teaches you to think for yourself to do what's right for you in that moment and a lot of people don't seem to do it because they don't want to upset the corner you're the boss as a fighter you are the boss you're the one who's got to take full responsibility it's like I used to say when we won the team won but when I lost I lost and my team never lost my trainer did his job my seconds and my cornermen did their job I just didn't do my job you know there's no blame to be passed because I'm the one in there I'm the one with full responsibility that's why I took up boxing so I didn't want to pass the blame I didn't want to say, well, I did everything, but my teammates let me down. No, the only person who let me down was me. So, it's boxing, to, you have to take full responsibility for your actions and yourself when you're in there. And blaming the trainers will put in a lot of hard work. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to me, it's kind of a bit sad. Because there's some good trainers out there and there's some bad trainers out there but still they both put the same amount of work in you know, it takes up the same amount of energy and the bad trainers don't realize that the bad trainers they think the good trainers you know and what what can you say to somebody who's trying their best not trying doing their best but it's wrong because that's how they've been taught it's <clears throat> Yeah, it's difficult, yeah, but I've got some ideas how I want to bring what, what I consider boxing back to the true champions, not to the true champions, to the true boxing fans, you know, I just want evenly matched shows and to do that you need to have good matchmakers, you know, you've got a fighter who's good, but you want to protect him. Good fighters don't want protecting. Good fighters want to know how good they are. You know, they don't want to listen to other people, but these... Uh, I don't know, this generation that need to be always patted on the back and told how great they are and all this, that and the third thing. Because it's... It's not good to criticise somebody. And it's kind of sad because people get so offended by criticism you know and it's if it's valid criticism take it on board become a better person if it's not ignore it you know you don't have to get offense take offense to it it's just somebody's opinion but if it hurts you <laughs> now that's got a reason why it's hurt you because it must have tugged on a string that you know is true that's within you so like I say take full responsibility for yourselves as boxers as people in general and just do your best you know don't listen to what other people say don't let them put you in a box how good are you do you actually know or how good can you be if you put the work in because that's kind of like more of it is putting the work in the more you practice it summer the more it becomes natural so when you hear about people saying about Floyd Mayweather being a natural boxer <laughs> no because there are thousands and thousands of hours he's put into his craft that's the only reason why it's made him natural because he's, he practices, 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 you know, until it becomes natural. It's like I say, when you first learn to walk, it wasn't a natural thing. Crawling's natural. But because you learn to walk and you've done it time after time after time after time, you've realised it's just a natural thing to do. Get up and walk. Same as driving, when you learn to drive, it's very, very difficult. You can't even look at the radio or turn the channel because you're that concentrated on 
the road and then a couple of years down the line after you've been doing it constantly day in day out you don't even realize you just drive you just get in the car and you're at your destination you know? anyway that's my little chat for the Sunday the Sunday chat if you like it please share you know what I mean? If you like it, the thumbs up because then it tells people, well, it tells that YouTube channel that they want you like more of this stuff and it gets shared to more people and I can get a bigger audience and when I get a bigger audience, I can do better content, I can do, well, I can do better production, that's it, better production. The content, I hope is good. If it's not, let me know, leave me a comment, see how I'm doing. And you'll see me wearing more and more gloves on my hands because my hands are hurting because the weather, the weather's flipping. It's a nightmare for me. On my hands. But that's a, a price I was willing to pay. And if I had my career over again, would I do it any different? No, I wouldn't. You know, I learned some valuable lessons with the people I boxed. 